Hi guys, James from DIY EFI here. Today we're going to have a look at how to connect your Speedwino ECU to your Android device. Firstly, we need to connect to the Bluetooth module of your ECU. On your Android device, navigate to Bluetooth, make sure it's turned on, and then scroll down to the bottom where it should be scanning. Mine's DIY EFI ECU. Enter the pin of your Bluetooth module and press pair to connect. You should see it added to the paired devices. We need to know which firmware your ECU is running, so connect via USB, open Tuner Studio, and have a look at the top bar. On your Android device, we now need to download the corresponding firmware INI file. So open your web browser, navigate to speedwino.com slash fw. Scroll down and find the version that matches what you saw earlier. Click it to download it. Now we're going to set up Real Dash. This is assuming you've not opened the application before. Launch Real Dash, allow it access to your photos and media, and whilst using this app, allow it access to the location. After Real Dash has completed its animation sequence, it will ask you to select a language. Choose the language you want and then click Done in the top left corner. For the video, we're going to skip the tutorial. Tap the middle of the screen at the top above the four. Tap Garage. When the car appears, tap the door and then tap the dashboard. Click Add. Scroll down and select Speedwino from the list. Press the right arrow. Select Bluetooth. Press the right arrow again. Wait for your list of devices to appear. Select your ECU from the list. Press the right arrow. Click Select File. Click Import. Select the INI file you downloaded earlier. Then click Select File. Press done in the top left and click the cross in the top right. This should take you back to the dashboard where you should see it connecting and then connected to the ECU. This is the default dashboard. You can click on the gauges to show different data. If you wish, you can also change the dashboard. There are some free dashboards and there are also some paid for dashboards. I hope this tutorial has been helpful.